Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iMac. So to get started, there's a reason why it's facing this way. We're facing the back of the iMac because I want to show you the basics. The basics is your power buttons right here. So that would be to your left hand side if you're looking at your iMac. And back here are all your connections, okay? Also, we're going to have to connect this up first. So that's the very first thing you guys have to hook up, which is your cable. So that just goes right here. So just plug it in there. This would go into an outlet. Then your keyboard. To set up your keyboard with your iMac, pretty simple. All you guys have to do is turn it on. So you will see on this side of your keyboard, this that you can slide, and then it's gonna turn on. If it's not fully charged, well, then you need your cable in order to charge this keyboard. That's where this comes in. Even your iPhone 8 or X cable will work with this. So you guys can just plug it in here and to charge up your keyboard, you just have to plug this in into your Mac or some people even plug it in into their wall chargers from their iPhones or iPads if you guys have that. Other than that, just plug it into your Mac and it's going to charge up your keyboard. To set up and sync your brand new mouse with your iMac or any Mac for that matter really, all you guys have to do is turn it on. So that's back here. That's how you guys turn that on and then you guys can just hook this up here if it doesn't have any battery left and just plug it into your iMac or even you guys have same deal, an iPad, iPhone, wall charger, you guys could do that too to charge this up. So we just wanna turn this off for now. That's how you guys can turn it on, turn it off. There's no batteries inside that you guys can change yourselves. There's just batteries there and you guys do have to charge it up by plugging this right here. Before we keep going, I want to show you down here. It's pretty important that you guys take a look at all the connections you guys have. So you do have Ethernet, and then you have all your USB, which is most likely most of you are going to use that. Here's for your headphones, SD card slot. So that's pretty important for you guys to know that everything you guys have to plug in into your iMac will be on the back of it. So now finally we can power on our iMac. So just make sure your mouse is turned on, like I showed you, and also turn on your keyboard. So now that we have those turned on, just turn on your Mac by pressing the power button, which is on your left hand side. So in this particular setup, if you're brand new to Mac, you do need an Apple ID in order to activate your Mac. It's very important so it's all registered towards you. So right now we did exactly that. We turned on our mouse. So just make sure to click on it a little bit. Same thing with your keyboard. And now it should detect it right away. So we just have to move our mouse and then click right here in the middle. And then it's gonna give us choices of languages. So it really depends where you guys are from in order to choose whatever language you guys like. So we have English and so on. So let's just choose English and then let's go next. It's also gonna start talking to you guys because Max, for the setup, they can talk to you. Next up, we will see this screen where it's gonna ask us where you guys want to set this up from. So you guys can choose the US or whatever country you guys are from, then go into continue. From here, choose whatever keyboard you guys want. So you guys can choose US, Canadian, or whatever keyboard you guys would like. So again, we're just gonna choose US, then go continue. Then your Wi-Fi network, it's very, very important. So in this case, it's tech and design, just like this YouTube video. So obviously you guys will not see the same Wi-Fi networks that I see right here, but your own, okay? And yes, you guys can use your ethernet cable in order to hook it up. We do not need to do this from Wi-Fi, but most of you will. Once you do that, it's gonna start connecting up if your password's correct, everything will be in order and it's gonna all keep going in sync. This is the next screen that you should see. Just go on to continue. And then from here, you guys cannot transfer anything if uh, this is your first iMac. If you guys are transferring stuff to it, this is from where you would do it. So you guys could do it from a Mac, Time Machine Mac, uh, backup or so on. You guys can transfer some stuff from a Windows PC. I don't actually recommend that option from a Windows PC just because it doesn't work 100%. But Time Machine works excellent. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Don't transfer. If I don't choose no transfer, I'll just go next so you guys can see that if this brand new iMac, you guys will have to sign in right away with your Apple ID or you guys can create one, which is your option right here. So you guys could create one right now. You do not need a credit card in order to activate your Apple ID. Okay, if you guys want to put your credit card in full, go ahead, you don't have to. So at this point, do that or just put in your email, then go next. If you guys are transferring anything, 
to your iMac from your old iMac or any Mac that you guys had from before, I'm just gonna go back, you would choose this option. So transfer and just turn on your external hard drive. That's what you guys are transferring from. So we're gonna transfer stuff from our old iMac into this iMac using an external hard drive that we have that we already turned on. We plugged it into our USB on the back of the iMac. And now we're gonna just choose this, go and continue. It's gonna look for that backup, so make sure it's connected, it's turned on, and use an external hard drive because that's the best way in order to transfer stuff from one Mac to another. So right here, I can see my time machine. Now I should look for other sources, but it's not gonna find anything else because I just have one time machine. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go and continue down here below, and then it's gonna look for the latest backup that I made, which wasn't too, too long ago. So I'm gonna select this option right here. Then I'm just gonna press on continue right there. Then this will tell you this. So make sure again to be connected to Wi-Fi. So we're just gonna update it. Just hit an update. Not everybody's gonna get that same option. So you might not get an update with your Mac. So depending when you guys bought your Mac, there might be an update, there might not. So just let it update. This updates, well, I can't really tell you how long it's gonna take because it's really up to your internet speed. For some of you, this could take 10 seconds others five minutes and others maybe an hour because it does depend on your internet speed because that's where it's downloading everything from. So after a while, you will see this Apple logo and loading bar. Okay, so if you did that cycle already, let's just go into Time Machine once again, just make sure that's selected, then go continue. And again, we're gonna have to select the latest backup that we have, which is that one right there. Just go and continue. After a little loading, you will see something like this. So, so it's gonna load up everything that it sees within your time machine backup. From there, as long as everything's check has a check mark, everything that you want to import really has a check mark, you can go to continue. So if we just click on continue, we're going to see this. So don't worry if you didn't have a password before, just set one up or now, and then we can just take it out later if you guys didn't have a password. So we're just gonna set one up right now. I'm gonna click on set password. Once again, that was just a temporary password. We're gonna take it out because we usually take that out. If you guys had a password, you can leave that in. Let's just go into continue for now. And then we just have to agree, which is down here below. Then up here, you guys will see agree again. Just click right there. And we're gonna get to this screen. So right here comes the heavy lifting. This might take forever for some of you. This might be really fast for others. It really depends how much information you're transferring from your external hard drive into your computer. This is a time machine backup. So it's transferring quite a bit of stuff. Anyways, we're just gonna have to wait for this. It could be a couple hours, a couple minutes, depending again, how much info you're transferring. Once it's done, it's gonna give you a brief message saying that the migration has completed. Then you guys are gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then it's gonna take you here. <laughs> so again, it's gonna say a creation complete. All you guys have to do is click on quit, which is right in the middle. And there you go. So you're pretty much done. Right now you just have to put in your password to get in. And then your Mac will load up just like before. So this is a little bit different than starting from you. Although it's gonna ask you again for your Apple ID. So in this case, it will ask you for your Apple ID. If uh, you're using another Apple ID, this is the time to change that up. However, I highly suggest setting up that right now. If you don't want to, just click on set up later. So right now, things migrated. I'm gonna have to set up passwords and things like that. Anyways, I want to show you something really quick. Under system preferences, you guys can find that in Spotlight Search. I just want to show you that since you guys have a mouse, you guys should set it up. So that's mouse. And then just make sure secondary click is on. So that means the right click. Okay, so Macs do have right click. So I highly, highly suggest doing that. And if you guys have any other stuff such as a trackpad, right now would be the time to set that up as well here on your Mac, all right? Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.